Real quick, one question I forgot to ask. I just wanted to um, see if, do you know anything about me whatsoever? Or? Nothing officially, no. <laughs> okay, okay, cool. J just so I knew. I've, I've done a few uh, video responses to some of your, a um, uh, couple of your videos, the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine. And uh, so uh -huh. I, yeah, yeah. One of them, the Divine Feminine oh, took. Oh, that makes me excited. Oh, so here's the thing. I usually cool. try not to know. Okay, that's cool, because then is, you're... This is why. You want to know why? Yeah. Because I, when people um, desire these kinds of interactions with me, I like to have a completely clean slate, no expectations, absolutely no judgments whatsoever, so that we can see what arises from the interaction immediately. I notice that when I watch people previously, like I do this in a lot of my interviews, people will want me to look up their careers and things, and I won't do it specifically because I know that's going to alter my idea about how things are going to go. Yeah, I hear you. Cool. I think that's a good way to go. Yeah, so I, so I did a, a video response uh, to Divine Feminine, and uh, okay. that one got a pretty good, pretty good response, like a thousand hits or something so far. Okay. And um, so I first discovered you about two months ago, um, and I don't know how I didn't discover you earlier, because I've been watching various, you know, spiritual videos on YouTube, and, and you've been out there for a couple of years, but, you know, all in divine timing, as they say. And <laughs> so within, like... Within like two days, then I put out a video uh, titled uh, Teal Scott is Awesome. <laughs> oh. Just because I was so uh, sort of excited and overjoyed to see someone who is putting truths out there that were, that were so deep and that, that I resonated so much with and, you know, have d discovered myself on my own spiritual quest. Yeah. And to see someone who is, who is getting, you know, uh, you know, a lot of attention for it as well. So... Uh, congratulations, and I'm uh, very, uh, you know, happy to to have your presence here. So. Oh, good. That's exciting. I was worried that we were up for a battle royale just then. You're like, I did video responses. I'm like, usually that's not a good thing. Oh, gotcha. No, no, they were. <laughs> they were very much positive. And then. Oh, and yeah. the well, that makes me happy. Good. I'll go watch them now. You, in the past, it's been like when people said they did video responses, and I go, look, it's usually things like, I completely disagree with you, and this is why. No, we we are so com so totally on the same page. Oh, good! Oh, I'm so excited! I'm so excited. I'll I'll tell you a, f a really quick, funny little story about the divine uh, feminine video that I did. I do all my videos out in nature. I'm here in Jasper National Park, Canada. I'm, I work up here, oh. and um, so for one thing, mosquitoes are oftentimes an issue. But so I'm I'm sitting there doing the video, and all of a sudden, a massive elk. You know what an elk is? They're like a very, very large deer. It goes running down the hill, um, like 50 feet away from me. And, I, and I, you'll see, I remark in the video, like, whoa, an elk just went running down a hill. <laughs> and, um, and then I went back to doing the video. As soon as I finish up the video, and you don't see this on the video, three black bears go, go wa wandering down that same hill. Wow. <laughs> and so obviously the elk was running from black bears, because and, and, uh, elk don't normally run. So... <laughs> Um, that is super fun. That's super fitting. Yeah, I know. So that's just you know part of the aspect of uh, doing outdoor um, video shoots. So, anyway, so that's what they call a vibrational match. So have you figured out what what, what the vibrational match was? What were you talking about? Um, in that video, basically, I was I was saying that that uh, you know one of the keys for obviously for for women to come into greater balance and equality and everything is is to love yourselves more. Yep. Um, and I forget what else. She's wrong from the predator. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to. That's too funny. Um, and that was kind of a that was a fairly short, uh, pretty light-hearted video. My divine masculine video, I, I get a little more intense and uh, okay. and sort of. I I thought that that maybe it could go a little bit step further, and I could be you know push the guys a little bit more. So. So, uh, oh, I'm excited. I can't wait. That's the one I'm the most excited to watch. Okay, excellent. Cool. So speaking of uh, uh, synchronicities, the day that you put out your, your video about the meditation where you allow your body to move, mm -hmm. I put out the exact same thing before I had seen your video or had any idea what, um, what it was going to be about. <laughs> I'd been, awesome. I, I'd, been, I'd been meditating on my, uh, on my bed the night before that, and, you know, I've, I've allowed that to happen before. Um, but then afterwards, I thought, well, this would be kind of a cool idea for uh, a video. So that afternoon, then I, I recorded the video and then didn't upload it until later that evening. And then um, later that night, then I checked to see what your video was going to be. And I was like, whoa, that is 
<laughs> quite a trip so there, there it is vibrational it, mess exactly exactly cool stuff that's one of my favorite meditations to do I said that in the video as you know but it's like amazing I love that one yeah yeah because it you know the, if your body is moving spontaneously like that it's spiritual energies that are that are arising within and yes. you know some uh, many spiritual teachers might say no you should be rigid you should you know you shouldn't let the body um, dictate your meditation or whatever but you know I would say just go with it and allow those energies oh, yeah, to rise too. well and ironically that that whole like you should be rigid goes against the entire principle of allowing the universe into your body that's what we're trying to do in the spirituality we're trying to commune with that which is non-physical about us which is always flowing through us and if you're in an aspect of resistance no matter what that resistance is physical or otherwise you are not allowing that source energy through your body.